Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over what Journal CTL is, what it does, and this is probably going to be a multi-part series so you guys are able to grasp what it takes to troubleshoot your system because, well, that's kind of just a part of Linux and I would prefer if you know it versus not knowing it at all and being forced to learn it later in a more stressful time. This way you can sort of get it down and... Uh, be like, yeah, I know how to grab logs, and it's going to be really nice. You're going to feel good about that. So that's what we're going to be doing. So journal CTL is a tool to read logs collected by the system MD journal uh, ALD. Uh, it centralizes logs from the kernel messages, system services, user applications, and boot and shutdown events. So you're going to get a lot of information. I'm going to turn off the webcam. Hopefully it's going to stay off this time. And uh, let's get right to it. So the first one I'm going to show you is the ability to find the commands. This is journal CTL dash dash help. And it will go over everything that this can do. All right. Which is a lot. Let's just state that as it is. So if you ever get lost, it has explanations of what every single command does. And if you get really lost, you could talk to AI about uh, what a specific command does, how to utilize it best for your certain problem and scenario. And that way you're able to go into a situation with all the information available to you and you can get help and support that way. The first, the second command we're going to do is journal CTL R. What this does is it shows all logs from old from oldest to newest. And, uh, oh, right, my bad. It's this one. This shows all logs from oldest to newest. So this is the oldest log currently here. I got the commands mixed up. It happens. I'm only human. So are you. So if you hold down the enter button, you'll be able to go through everything and see all the logs from all the applications and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to do this in reverse, show all the newest logs first, you can do that. And that makes a world of difference. Because then you can see if you just had an error versus having to go through uh, and trying to find the error. Okay? So hopefully you find that very, very useful. We're going to type clear again. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more because I realized we were a little bit out. This is another command that shows the last 20 log entries. So again, it shows the last 20. Now, of course, this can be adjusted to the last 50. As you can see, it's going up now and it will stop at 50. And you can also do 100, 200 or more. It's basically a command for you to find or go through the entire structure bit by bit. Do 20 and do more and more and more. Next is journal CTL F. This shows you everything in real time. So say I went and opened this. As you can see, it just updated in the background and it shows you everything and update it. Now, if we wanted to, we could take this information and jam this in a log.txt allowing us to gather information about a crash. Ooh, I feel really, really weird. Dizzy even. I'm fine though, I'll figure it out. Now this is important for gathering logs if you have a crash and other stuff. So that way if, it, if it's a big system type crash, it will show, right? Even if it ends up rebooting the system, it will still be here thanks to this command. I'll zoom in to show you, I can't actually zoom in so journal ctl dash f and then the arrow pointing at log.txt will create it you'll find that in your home folder by the way or whatever you are now uh nice and simple little easy video for you to follow i hope you guys learned something if you did leave a comment don't forget to like subscribe share the video do all that stuff and i will see you in the next video Bye, everybody.